Hi, I want to show you how easy it is to use a peel-off sticker from Elizabeth Craft Designs. These are the thin little outline stickers. And place it on a piece of cardstock with some glitter that you can then color with your alcohol ink markers. So the first thing we're going to do is select a sticker and we've chosen this one right here. And so the next thing I want to do is cut a piece of cardstock, preferably white so that our colors are nice and bright and a little bit bigger than the sticker. And then we want to cut a piece of Elizabeth Craft Designs clear double-sided adhesive just a little bit bigger or a little bit smaller than our cardstock. So now to prepare the cardstock, we're going to peel off the backing on the glitter on the adhesive. It peels off like that. The sticky side is on the brown. It doesn't matter which side the sticky side comes off on. Sometimes it comes off on this side, sometimes on this side. Doesn't matter. What we're going to do is stick our cardstock, take the sticky side, stick it down on the cardstock, and then peel it off again. And now we have a sticky piece of cardstock. So we're going to set that out of the way and we're going to use this little tear off sheet that came with our adhesive. And we're going to carefully peel off our sticker. See it's just a thin little outline. And we're going to place it upside down, sticky side up, on this backing that we pulled off. So sometimes it sticks to your fingers, just kind of work it around. Sometimes if you lick your finger and stick it on there, that'll help it release too. At this point, you can make sure that it's centered. You can make sure that all the little pieces came out and it's exactly how you want it to be. Then you're going to take that sticky cardstock that we set aside. You're going to flip it over so the sticky side is now down and we're going to stick it right on top of our sticker. Now when we turn it over and we can peel off this backing again, our sticker is right side up, but it's on the sticky background that's going to hold our glitter. So for our glitter, we want to use a coffee filter. They're cheap, inexpensive, and static free. We want to use our silk microfine glitter from Elizabeth Crafts. And this, the kind that you want to color in is either warm diamond or cool diamond. Either one works. You want to sprinkle this over the top liberally and we can just shake off the excess and this is going to pour right back in the jar with no waste so it's okay to go um, as liberal as you need to. Now this is the important step is we're going to burnish this in with our finger or polish it. As you do this you will see first of all that any sticker or any glitter that's on the front of the sticker is going to come off so your sticker is going to be a nice bright black it's also going to stick this into the adhesive, which is going to make this glitter not come off. So you can use this on a card and send it to somebody and they're not going to get little flecks of glitter in the card or little flecks of glitter on their hands. This glitter is staying on here. As we rub it in, you'll also notice some crystals breaking and it getting a little more sparklier. I know that's not a word, but I like to make up words. It does get more sparklier. Okay. And now we're ready to go. So now we're going to color. And for that we use alcohol ink markers. Any brand should work. When you first start, go in the center in a large area, like right here, because you're going to see that it takes a very light touch and it really spreads. So we're just going to color in just like that. And that's all there is to it. Once you're done coloring, you can cut this out and it's ready to place on your card, your scrapbook page, whatever project you're working on with glitter. Now remember this is the only glitter that I know of on the market that you can color on and not ruin your pens. And you have to polish it. If you don't polish it enough you will get glitter on your nibs. Thanks for watching.